Hey partners, welcome back to another video in our five and five series. Yes, where we cover five topics or five facts in about five minutes. Today, we're gonna to look all about foundation, what it is, how it works, and what can it do for you as a Nutanix partner. So let's jump into that topic of today. So the Nutanix Foundation is a tool that allows administrators to completely bootstrap, deploy, and configure a bare metal mechanics cluster from start to end with minimal interaction in a matter of minutes. And as we mentioned, that's around 45 minutes or less, depending on some uh, networking factors as well. Foundation will request a few general parameters about the network, and in most cases, even detect that Nutanix nodes using multicast. So let's look at some of the facts, right? So five facts here. Foundation is simple and fast, 45 minutes or less. Fact two, there are two main foundation methods, foundation VM and foundation as a service. We prefer you to use the foundation VM specifically when you do on-site deployments. Fact three, it removes that manual complexity of creating a dense cluster. Fact four, de-risks the cluster deployment because of automation process, right? So less human interaction. And then lastly, you get more time for coffee, which obviously matters. So now that you have the five facts about foundation, let's see quickly where you can download the foundation VM, which is preferred. So first of all, go to my.nutanix.com in any browser, put in your my Nutanix ID credentials, log in, scroll down to the support portal, launch that in a separate tab. Then you can go and navigate to the hamburger menu, choose downloads, and then click on the foundation download section. And then ultimately you will download the latest foundation version. In this case, it's 4.6.1 that you can then import into VirtualBox or ESXi, and you can then download that. Great, so after you've downloaded the foundation VM, right, in this case, version 4.6.1, and imported that into VirtualBox, VMware Fusion, or ESXi, you can then go ahead and start that VM up and then you'll have a similar login screen or a screen like this. First of all, first thing you wanna do is set the foundation IP address. Now this will set the IP address of your foundation VM to that similar of the network that you're gonna do your foundation on because your uh, nodes and the foundation VM needs to be on the same network range. So double click set foundation IP address, run in terminal, then navigate there to device configuration, choose your virtual network adapter. Then first you wanna take it off DHCP, assign a static IP address. Click okay or choose okay, save, save and quit. That will then go ahead and set the correct um, network settings for your foundation. VM. All right, so looking at the Nutanix foundation installer, Right, I think you can see there's some other parameters you can change here, like the RDMA, the lags, the VLANs. But in this case, yeah, we're just gonna choose our hardware platform, right? You can also leave it on auto detect. In my case, it's gonna be NX, which is Nutanix. And then capture your net mask, gateway of your IPMI interfaces and the CBM, right? You also, you can add new interfaces if you want, and then list your existing interfaces. Okay, right, then you click next. It will go on here and discover your nodes using MDNS, right? So uh, if you've got multicast enabled on the network and the nodes are not part of any cluster, it will automatically detect the nodes for you. In many cases, if that's not enabled, you can go to tools, add nodes manually, and then capture all the necessary information. Go ahead and click on the node selection to select all the nodes to make them part of this foundation process. Right, move on to next. In this case, we're gonna then create the cluster, right? So what's the information that's required to creating a cluster? You can obviously skip this if you just wanna image the nodes, load the hypervisor, but not build a Nutanix cluster, right? In many cases, if it's a one or two node robo solution, you can skip it and do it via the command line. You can then add your cluster name and then your cluster virtual IP address. Add your DNS server and then your VRAM allocation for every single CVM. In my case, I'm gonna use a preferred one, which is 32 gigs. 
then click next to the installer. I can then manage RS files and then choose the one I want to upload by using the add button. Right, yeah, you're going to choose your hypervisor. Now you don't have to run AHV, but the AOS do include the AHV as the hypervisor. You can use ESXi, Hyper-V, and then upload the necessary files. Right, in my case, I'm using AHV, and I'm using the AHV version that is inside of the AOS. Right, review your IPMI interface um, configuration, and then you can start your foundation process. Sit back, relax, and have your coffee. As you can see, after you click start and proceed, then it is going to start the installation progress. It is really an automated process and you can just sit back and relax while Foundation takes care of all the hard work. Then just fast forwarding a little bit uh, the Foundation process, we'll see that all the nodes has been successfully imaged and the correct AAS version and AHB version or hypervisor has been loaded and it's busy now creating the cluster for your um, Nutanix deployment. And there you have it. Once all the installation processes are finished, you can proceed then to log into your newly created Nutanix cluster. And there you have it, partners. Simple, right? So foundation, the process to easily get an Nutanix cluster up and running or provisioned in less than 45 minutes. If you need more information, make sure to check out our YouTube channel, which is the EMEA channel, team enablement channel, or reach out to the nearest channel EC and check out our support website. Yeah. See you soon. Cheers.